when, when put together, it perhaps looked unaffordable. But there were growth-boosting elements, elements that the International Monetary Fund said would boost growth in this country. Might we now be, because the corporation tax rise is going ahead, you said that there might be some other tax rises in there as well, mm. might we now be more likely to go into recession because it's been junked? Let's be clear, Tom, when the mini-budget came out, the Institute of Directors, the Confederation of British Industry, the British Chamber of Commerce, everyone said, way, this is great, we're finally moving away from the highest tax take in 70 years, mm. the highest uh, economy share of tax as, as a share of GDP in 70 years since the Attlee government, or Britain's new Jerusalem after <laughs> the Second World War. We're finally moving away from that, and the business community was saying, this is great, this is going to get growth moving. We're not going to raise uh, corporation tax paid by many small firms, of course, mm. um, not just the big business high rollers who tend to find ways of avoiding it because they invest lots. And, and, and base themselves offshore yeah, yeah, and the of rest course. of it. We, we, you can't do that if you're a sort of plumbing business in the mm. Midlands and you still pay big corporation tax. We're not going to raise in corporation tax to 25%. We're going to keep it at 19%. Um, we're going to um, have more supply-side policies like getting rid of regulation that silts the economy up. That's quite a difficult thing to do because biz businesses quite often like that regulation mm. because it keeps their smaller rivals at bay. Almost none of that is now going to happen, not only because the tax cuts have been uh, stymied or the tax freezes have been unfrozen in the case of corporation tax, but also because the Conservative Party hasn't got the political will to do it. And you've got very you know, moderate, sensible MPs for political reasons, positioning reasons, saying that the trusts... Quateng budget was like, you know, libertarian jihadism and really extreme mm. language. When, when actually all it did was bring the tax burden down about four years ago. Yeah, even it, less. It, it brought it back from the 70-year high to back where it was in 19, 2019, 2020 and you know, lowered the top rate of tax to where it was under Blair and Brown. They're mm. not libertarian prime ministers. Right. But, 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 as you know, Tom, timing in politics is everything presentation is everything. The package was too big. There was too mm. much at once. Mm. It was done with a bit too much zest and relish. Oh, yeah, and let's scrap the banker's bonus cap as well, just because we're now in power. It mm. riled a lot of ordinary, moderate people mm. who would otherwise have been in favour of a bit more supply. And, and yet looking at the numbers, about a quarter of it no was tax No one looks at the cuts. numbers, though, do they? It's all about the impressions. I mean, But three on, quarters know. of it was extra spending yeah, on yeah, this energy yeah. price guarantee. No one looks at the numbers. You know, people like me, oh, who cares what he thinks? Yeah, it's all about politics. It's all about the adjectives. You know, analysis is an, ad is an mm. adjective yeah. rather than an actual number. Mm. But I know you do look at the numbers, and on GB News, crikey, we try to look at the numbers, and the numbers show that this was not a particularly radical or extreme package at all. But the political scores on the doors show that yeah. she didn't prepare the ground, it was done too quickly. Even Margaret Thatcher, she had her debates between the wets and the dries, and you know she tried to take some of the country with her. She tried to expose the policies of her political mm. opponents with her Didn't own Didn't do party. the radical stuff until the yeah. second the, term. The radical it's, stuff yeah. was gradually rolled out, and Liz Truss was just in, you know, it's a personal tragedy for her, but this is a big grown-up politics, it's a mm. contact sport, and she tries to do too much too quickly. But the Bank of England didn't help by carrying on with its quantitative tightening, mm. quantitative tightening, which now the political mood has shifted. It's decided, hey, presto, we're not going to do that anymore. Mm. The pound goes up, borrowing costs go down. Everyone thinks Jeremy Hunt's a genius. And tre Treasury orthodoxy now reigns supreme, so, potentially, potentially runs the country. Well, Liam, thank you so <laughs> much for talking through that and making it so understandable for the audience as well.